In this video I'm going to break down Debussy Claire de Lune, bars 19, 20, 21 and 22. So the left hand has an A flat octave. Then you would play G flat with 5. And then a triad of A flat major with 4, 2 and 1. A flat 4, 2 on C, 1 on E flat. Then play C again, but try and hold the other two while you're doing that. And then use one three on B flat, two on E flat, one on G flat. That's an E flat minor triad inverted. There's the root inverted. And then hold that while you play G flat. Technically, you should take the B flat off as well. So you're only ever playing three notes at once. A flat octave, I'll do it again. G flat, A flat major triad. Play the C again. And the last chord. Change the bottom. One more time. Raises a semitone for the octave A natural. Now we have much simpler music to play. G flat five, C with two, E flat with one. So you play that chord four times. Pull the bottom into A flat. That makes A flat major try it again. So I'll do that bar. Next bar, we have B flat octave. Again, it's gone up a semitone. You can play this triad of G flat major, which is G flat, B flat, D flat, with five, three, and one. Then change the bottom to A flat, and then play D flat again, and then you do the same, uh, well similar, to the end of the first bar we did, which is this time, instead of E flat in the middle, it's D flat. So that's B flat, D flat, G flat, with 3, 2 and 1, and then G flat to finish. So I'll do all that in a row. Do five three one for this, then four, then two to set up this shape, then three two one and five. You end up in a nice G flat major triad position, uh, quadrat. Sorry, one two three four. Okay, final bar is C natural on the octave. G flat five, B flat three. That's an E flat minor triad inverted once. Here's the root. I take the bottom E flat, put it on top, and there's the first inversion. So we're playing that four times. Now we move the whole shape up one step up in the key. That's F minor first inversion. Here's the original. Here's the first inversion, and then you'd go back to E flat minor. So four of them, one of them, and one of these. So I'll do that bar. Now you can do that five, three, and one. For 
for this chord. And you can do what I just did and shift up 531 and return 531. Or you can stay where you are. Just shift your thumb up and do 421, just like that, and then return. So that's the left hand of bars 19 to 22. And I'll play them all in a row now. this hanging over from the other bar. It is uh, 18, yeah, from the end of bar 18. You're hanging this over the start of bar 19. So this is going to be hanging over your A flat octave. Then your right hand is going to move. Let me just remind myself. make it easy for people. We have a G flat octave, an A flat octave with an E flat in the middle, a C octave, the same chord as you hanged on the beginning, which is B flat, G flat, B flat, one, three, five, and then G flat octave. And you have to make that all sound like a slur. So here it is. small one while you did the A octave. <coughs> the right hand chords now are G flat 1, C2, 3 on E flat, 5 on G flat, and you play four of those. Now move your octave only up to A flat, but keep the middle two notes. That makes an A flat major quadrad in the root position. A flat C, E flat, A flat. Then move your octave back. So I'll play that bar. The next bar we have G flat octave with D flat in the middle. It's one, two, and five. Hold your D flat in the middle and move your octave to A flat. Then D flat, then the same hanging chord, B flat, G flat, B flat, and then G flat octave to finish. And that's all one slur phrase as well. I'll do it again. bar, which is bar 22. We have G flat with 1, B flat with 2, E flat with 4, G flat with 5. This is an E flat minor first inversion quadrant. Here's the root. I've inverted it once. So you do four of those. Then you move up a step in the key and you'll get A flat, C, F, A flat. That's F minor first inversion quadrat. And then move back. So four of these, one of these, one of these. I'll do that. Now I'm going to play all the right hand from the hanging notes.
left hand super slow. together there I noticed I had to steal some notes I call it at the end of some of the bars so here's the hanging I'll just go to the point here you have to come off that thumb even though in the score it says that that is going to reach the end of the bar you have to actually steal it with your right hand like this. The next bar is fine. And I think you might have to steal. Yes, you steal again. So that's at the end of bar 19 and 21. You have to steal the last left hand thumb with the right hand. So now I'm going to play this a bit faster.